calculating the debt coverage ratio, right? So we wanna know how much cash is there to cover the debt. So if we showed interest expense, then you know that money that would be there for interest expense uh, would take away from what would cover new debt. Does that make sense? Okay, so I could put my interest expense here, right? But when I wanna know how much total money I have to cover my debt, I have to add it back because I'm gonna use that, the money I would have spent for my interest to cover my new debt. Does that make sense? Okay, so, um, so, so we wouldn't add interest expense, we would not add depreciation or amortization. Any idea why we wouldn't add those? Amortization or depreciation? So you have your, your rent, and then you have your operating expenses, right? So you take your revenue and you subtract your operating expenses, so you have your operating income. Right, but, but it's not operating income in real estate. We call it net operating income. Jennifer and I was here at the Pioneer Realty event with Charles as he was speaking about commercial real estate. I, this is my second time to come and it was a great um, event. I was able to learn a lot about commercial real estate. The first one I learned about bifurcation and this one I'm learning about debt service. Um, that piece to commercial real estate, he offers so much information. It is a very nice time and it's also a great networking of event where I can get around to other people and to share um, who I am and what they do in the industry of commercial real estate. I will definitely be coming back and I recommend that to anybody who's looking for a networking event to learn, but also to meet others with commercial real estate.